Yo, what's up, baby? This is Bird Watson, and you're listening to Radio MMA, because this is what they do and why they do it, baby, all night long, because they rolling hard, fast, and on the money. Okay, guys, welcome back to the show, and let's bring in Jared. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Not too bad. Good stuff, man. So uh, you got your first win in the UFC last month at the Ultimate Fighter finale. Just talk about your fight for the fans that missed it. Um, I felt good. You know, I came out moving my feet. You know, I've been working on uh, moving my feet a little bit more, not being a target for some leg kicks. Right. So, uh, it, you know, I, I felt good there. Went in there confident, with a lot more confidence, not being... Not being injured, you know, uh, had a good camp, um, so, so my confidence was really there for this one, um, in, in shape, you know, I, I had enough time to get really prepared for the fight, and went out and got a, got a unanimous decision on, uh, Russell Dome, so, felt pretty good. Good stuff, man. So there's been a lot of uh, love and hate for this Reebok deal. You've had a chance to wear the gear and experience it firsthand. What's your overall assessment? Um, you know, uh, I, you know, I like some of the gear. Um, you know, I, I think uh, it'll get better with time. You know, with, with everything, with the, something new. Sure. It's usually, it usually takes a little while to get it right. Right. So, you know, as long as it keeps improving, you know, I, I talk to a lot of guys and I, I don't know, it's, it's nothing, a lot of the stuff really isn't special right now. It's nothing that, you know, uh, it, there, wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot to, to the stuff, you know, but I, we know it'll get better. Uh, anything with, with time, you know, it's something new. So, um, for me, I personally, I, I like a lot of it, you know, and not having a search for sponsors or do any any work like that yeah know. yeah um, for sure just talk about how your health is coming off this fight when can we expect to see you back in the octagon uh ho hopefully you know I, i'd like to get one in before the end of the year that, that'd be awesome um i, I got a uh, baby boy coming in october so oh, you know I, I tell my manager you know let's kind of steer clear of that you know right. that, that would have been awesome to get on that Houston card, um, you know that that would have been that would have been cool, and and uh, my manager was asking if I wanted to try and get on that, and well, you know that's close to to baby to baby coming, so right, right, yeah, first baby boy, he's he's coming first week of October, so I'm looking forward to that, and kind of want to be here for that. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. So that card you were on in Vegas, it was a crazy-ass weekend. You know, you had uh, UFC 189, the Ultimate Fighter finale, the Fan Expo. Um, just talk about what it was like to be a part of it. It was uh, it was pretty cool. It, it was, uh, you know, something I've never been a part of or felt anything like that. You know, just the energy. You can kind of sense, you know, the, the couple days leading into the fight. But just the uh, the the crowd, the following, you know, the the Irish people over there. And, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, the energy just seemed a little different for this one, and uh, it, it was definitely one of you know something to definitely be glad. You know, I'm definitely glad I was a part of it. Just being there um, for that weekend was, was pretty cool, and and they had so many great fights. Uh, they were just it was kind of inspiring, you know, to, to you know, I, I watched them. I was in my room just watching them, but, um, you know, I felt the energy and the passion that a lot of guys were putting out there and wanted to perform like that the next day, you know. Definitely, it was it was pretty cool. This past weekend at World Series of Fighting 22, Jake Shields took on Paul Harris, and uh, did you see that fight? I didn't see it. I heard about it. Right, I right. I heard it was, uh, it was, <laughs> you know, uh, some eye gouging going on, and, sure. and some, uh, you know, some unsportsmanlike conduct. So, yeah, you know, which which nobody, we, we're most of us, mo most of the May fighters, we you know, we respect each other, and and you know, don't don't want to do a lot of dirty. You know, a lot of us, the ones that I've definitely been a part of, you know, know and train with, and and even fight against. You know, a lot of them are pretty classic. So. You know, I haven't run into a lot of that, fortunately. 
Yeah, man, and well, Twitter Twitter was a buzz about the whole thing. Um, do you think this guy should get a lifetime suspension? Well, you know, I don't really know him. I, I don't know him personally at all. I just, uh, I just know the antics. You know, right. some of the stuff he's done. You know, and this isn't the first time. Um, it, it, it should definitely be, you know, something to question and consider. You know whether this guy should be a part of this sport. You know because it. You know you, you want to have guys that are respectful and and uh, have some class with themselves, carry themselves with some class when they're in the cage. Definitely outside too, but obviously in the cage. You know when the cameras are on you and you're representing the sport and the organization. So it's I think it's definitely something to consider about uh, getting rid of that guy. You know. Yeah, which is, which is unfortunate for him. Right. Yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's a tough guy. He's a great fighter. The same. I mean, he does stuff like that. You know, a lot of times, probably didn't have to do that. But you know, I, I don't know. It's, everybody's different. Would you ever consider getting in the cage with a guy like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I would do it. Um, just be, you know, the the uh, the fighter inside me. All right, you know, right. Uh, I'm not going to back down from anybody, you know. But you got, you know, you go into a fight, and you definitely, it's definitely good to know who you're fighting. You know, the next guy, if he does fight again, knows what he's up against. You know, uh, hey, it's it's on. It, you know, anything goes, kind of with that guy. You know, he's going to try, he's going to do the dirty stuff, try it, and and you know, you can't just, you don't want to win on a foul or, or something like that, but. You know, it adds up. Eye yeah. gouges and, and, you know, a lot of dirty stuff. It, <laughs> it definitely takes a toll on, on the fighter. You don't want to fight anybody like that, but if you do, you definitely want to beat the hell out of them yeah. and learn a lesson. Yeah, for sure, man. Okay, final question here. There will be no more IVs after weight cuts. How will that affect you? Oh, well, Hopefully, it, I mean, I'm new to the IVs. I, I've never really done them, so... I, I, it may not affect me at all. I'm, right. I'm hoping it doesn't affect me at all. Uh, you know, I, I know it makes you bounce back pretty quick. Um, you know, ho hopefully I'll be fine with just going in. And, you know how I do. I usually just Pedialyte back up and uh, lots of water, you know. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be fine and, and be able to perform, you know, a whole – you know, if it goes a fight going the distance, hopefully I can stay strong the whole way and have your legs underneath you. So we'll see. I appreciate you taking the time out here. Do you want to throw out any of your social media? Oh, uh, as always, I'd, I'd like to thank my family, um, all my loved ones, my girlfriend. She, she's been very supportive of me. Uh, R1, Jim and Matt with Matt Grice. They're great. I got great part, great training partners uh, and coaches. Um, you know, I, I, any any of my fans, you know, they I've I've got a big backing and following here in Oklahoma with uh, working with youth youth wrestlers. Um, I've been a part of coaching kids for for a little while now. Uh, so I got I got a lot of fans out here and a lot of support. And I just thank everybody in Oklahoma and. And, uh, and North Carolina. I, I've got some ties in North Carolina, and that's kind of where it all started for me as far as fighting. Uh, but a lot of guys out there and, and uh, in North Carolina, and, and the kids I coached out there as well. I know they, they still support me and uh, trip on me every time I fight. So thanks to all my friends, family, and, uh, and all the kids that have uh, been a part of my life and had a chance to, you know, help mold and shape. As far as wrestling and, and uh, character, main characters uh, concerned. So, thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for interviewing me. And hopefully, uh, we can do it again after my next one. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, I appreciate you taking the time out. All right, appreciate it.